but it's saying, hey, the heat pump outside, the most efficient way to heat your home is not functioning. Good morning, Dad. Hey, good morning. I have a question for you today. I was monitoring some calls that came in overnight, and I mm -hmm. saw one come in. And the reason why this customer booked an appointment with us was they said they received an alert for their thermostat stating that their heat pump is not working and that they're running on auxiliary heat. Right. And I thought that it might be beneficial for you to explain to this audience, in case they have that issue come up, what that means and mm -hmm. what could possibly be the issue. Well, this, this homeowner has a heat pump system. I looked at the address and I kind of know that they're a total electric part of town. So it has a heat pump outside. And what a heat pump is, it's a unit that sits out in the yard and it will actually take heat out of the air outside and heat the home on the inside. All heat pump systems though in this part of the country will need help at some point in time during the course of the winter uh, to heat your home. So there's always a secondary heat source. For this customer it's an electric furnace down in the basement. So for some other people it might be a, a gas furnace on either natural gas or, or propane either either way. But this, ha this home has an electric furnace and so what's going on is the the heat pump outside has turned itself off for whatever reason. There's something's malfunctioning or needs attention. It's been relying on the auxiliary heat, the, the heat that comes from the electric furnace. And the, this particular system is capable of giving you a notice. It can be a light on a thermostat. Some will even email you and tell you that you're having a malfunction. We're still heating the home. Everything's fine there. And that's really why you get this notice because you wouldn't know that it's malfunctioning. It, it's heating the home like it always does. But it's saying, hey, the heat pump outside, the most efficient way to heat your home is not functioning. And we're relying on auxiliary heat. So we're using electric heat strips to, to heat your home instead of the heat pump. So it's just a way that uh, the system doesn't want you to get a surprise at the end of the month. And, you know, it used to be when something like this would happen. Without those notifications, the homeowner doesn't know it. So a month and a half later, he, you get a, uh, your electric bill and it's twice what it's supposed to be. Well, that's, that hurts. That stings a little bit. So this is simply being proactive saying, hey... You need to check something out and, and I can do a better job economically of heating your home. I mean, I'm sure it can be all sorts of different reasons. What could maybe mm. be some possible reasons why the heat pump is not working? Yeah. Is it because it got so cold there recently? It, it could be a whole host of reasons. You know, there, there's, it could be something trivial or, or it may be something more serious, but it knows it's sensing that, Hey, we're running the auxiliary heat too much. So we just need to have a, a technician come out and check it out. Is there ever a time where it's too cold to run the heat pump? Yes, and like okay. like I said, uh, in this part of the country, all heat pump systems are gonna have an auxiliary heat of some kind. The reason being, the colder it gets outside, where we're actually taking heat out of the air outside and warming the home with it, well, there's less heat available when it's, say, 17 degrees instead of 37 degrees. So when it drops down into the teens like that, there may be a time where it will just automatically bring on that electric furnace to, to work simultaneously with the heat pump to maintain your temperature inside. So yeah. And that, if that's what it was doing, would they get an alert like this? Like that's what I'm trying to get at. Cause that would be it functioning normally. That's right? functioning normally. And it's normal to use that electric furnace from time to time, but no, it's sensing that, hey, we're using it all the time. I see. More, so this customer got that way. notification because it that's was right. sensing that something was not working properly with the heat. Correct. Pump. Okay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what yeah. I wanted to verify. Well, what, what you can do is there are times where you may think that there is a problem. You know, you're, you've not gotten any notices, but maybe there's uh, loud noises from the heat pump outside, or maybe the temperature isn't quite what it's supposed to be on the inside. You can manually switch your furnace over to auxiliary heat or emergency heat, some thermostats call it. But you can switch it, you can do this manually when you think you might have a problem. 
It's also kind of nice to have an emergency system, you know, that if you're sensing a problem, you can try your secondary heat source to see if it'll heat your home. A very common instance there is during an ice storm, you know, you might get some ice buildup that could cause some damage to the heat pump or you set things out of balance, you know, fan blades and things like that. So you'll hear strange noises or clunky noises. Well, that's a time to turn it off and just put it in let's just use the auxiliary heat for a while. Right. Yeah, we made a video on that, so I'll link it exactly. in the description here. Um, exactly. That yeah. if, if you get ice buildup on your heat pump, it's just best to just run the furnace until that kind of goes away. Right. 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 Okay, cool. Okay. Right. Thanks, Dad. Very good. Bye-bye. All right, bye.